Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Jay. Welcome back to my channel. Let's do a quickie. This is episode number 12 with a quickie with Jay. And for this one, we're headed back to Lucid Screams, the short story collection from Red Lego. This one's called The Great American Eclipse. And before we get too far to this, let me just bring you this PSA, this public service announcement. Proper eye protection during an eclipse is crucial if you don't want to go blind. Or if you don't want to, you know, unleash some sort of alienistic creature that's going to break your body in half and destroy the world. I mean, I'm just just saying, you know, just saying. Just advice, okay? Also, just be aware of free stuff, okay? Not all free things are bad, but sometimes they're too good to be true. Just, just throwing it out there for you. So we have Helia. Helia's father is dead. What a way to start off a story, right? We know that much. We don't know exactly how he died, uh, but we know he was some sort of, of scientist or astronomer or scientist of astronomy or something along the lines of that. Uh, but he struck a deal with a company who makes glasses supposedly safe for the upcoming eclipse. Are we get a little bit of backstory of that whole deal uh, what it involves through Uncle Steve. By the way, Uncle Steve may or may not be a total prick. He may or may not save the day. Helia may or may not hate him because he may or may not have, you know, hit the bottle before going to the funeral and said some nasty things about her father. I'll let you find all that stuff out in the book, in the story, in the story. Uh, but it turns into a pretty cool creature feature. It's sharp. It's fast paced. It's actually a little longer on the longer side of some short stories, I thought. Uh, but the, the pacing makes it feel shorter. Uh, but you mix in the action. And you once you see the action and these creatures, you may never, ever camp out for an eclipse ever again. I, I've never camped out for an eclipse. <laughs> but I definitely won't after reading this short story. At least not with free eye protection I enjoyed it there was a lot of build up and you felt the anticipation uh, it got tense a few times before the big reveal uh, and I enjoyed that because like I said the pacing really helped this it was a longer short story so the pacing really helped get through it this is called The Great American Eclipse it's from Red Lego and the short story collection Lucid Screams uh, there you have it this has been another Quickie with Jay, episode number 12. Thanks so much for hanging out and staying help to help clean up the mess. Thanks, I appreciate it.